A sea of people filling the streets in Iran Monday during the funeral services for Iranian General Qassam Soleimani. This just days after Iran's top general was killed by a U.S. drone strike at the Baghdad airport. Soleimani's daughter says her father's death will bring darker days for the U.S. and Iran has vowed revenge. It was America that has started the war. Therefore, they should accept appropriate reactions to their actions. Iraq's parliament voted Sunday to obligate the government to work towards removing all foreign troops from the country. Back in the U.S., thousands of troops are getting ready to deploy to the Middle East as tensions in the region continue to escalate. And President Donald Trump says if Iran tries to retaliate, the U.S. will quickly and fully strike back and perhaps in a disproportionate manner. But House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says not so fast. She sent a letter saying the House of Representatives will introduce a vote on a war powers resolution that limits President Trump's potential military action in regards to Iran. The power to make war resides in the Congress. The founders believe that there need to be a check on executive power. And we know when we go into a conflict anywhere in the world in the past, we're always stronger when we are united. In Washington, I'm Camila Bernal reporting.